today's show, we're getting ready to turn up the flavor. to save the flavor. We try the foods that you don't have to unless you want to. I'm your host, Stephen White. With me is, as always, Katrina. Hi. We are back with the Lay's chips that they do every year. There's at least two or three different flavors. It seems like every season, or at least every couple of seasons, by seasonally if that's what you want to call it. Uh, but this, this time, they've come up with stuff that is inspired by music, hence turn up the flavor. So uh, we've got some interesting choices here. I'm excited to try at least two of them, <laughs> but as we also know that when it comes down to these chips, they sound better than they usually are, but yeah. maybe we'll be uh, surprised this time, so you never know. Anyway, let's try some chips. First we have Lay's Kettle Cooked Classic Beer Cheese. Each one of these flavors is inspired by some form of music. The beer cheese is inspired by classic rock music. It says this is an experience, flavor, and music in perfect harmony. And you can win music or concerts or something like that if you scan the little code on the back. So you can do that. Um, I, I think, you know, beer cheese. I like beer cheese. But what I'm worried about most is that the uh, flavor will not be as we expect because you get some good beer cheese and oh boy you know that stuff's amazing but i'll say right now it doesn't smell any different than a normal chip yeah i mean you can kind of get a hint of the cheesy flavoring they kind of put on it and it's very similar to other cheesy potato chips that they have on the market so i don't expect it to be anything groundbreaking but we'll see i honestly think it tastes like a normal cheesy chip if you're if you're familiar with beer such as myself you get a hint of something beer related if you kind of let it sit you can kind of get a, a beer cheese esque aftertaste so as usual we're not really getting anything groundbreaking when it comes to cheese flavor i don't know why they continue to come up with these cheese flavors that just aren't massive i mean they're just always kind of basic it always tastes like the old school cheddar cheese chips mm -hmm. and it like. you know being kettle cooked they've got that extra crunch if you like that but it's nothing major it's nothing groundbreaking next up we have electric lime and sea salt and these are the wavy kind these are inspired by pop music i don't know how i feel about that i mean it is a combination that seems to go hand in hand more like with a margarita yeah and and these could have a very unique uh flavor to them i can't imagine the sea salt's gonna be anything uh different than the normal salt they put on it granted they'll say it's sea salt but you're not gonna know the difference the lime is really where i want to see it kind of come through do we get some sort of a a hint of lime or is it like a really hefty lime flavor that comes in through the potato chip and then it just kind of works throughout so we'll see lime is definitely up front that was not oh. the lime flavor i was expecting it reminds me of green kool-aid <laughs> you know <laughs> you, that smell you get in the in the packages or even mm -hmm. as you're before you drink it you get that the taste smell combination that's what i'm kind of getting with that i'd but, say if it wasn't for the sea salt it would taste just like kool-aid i don't say it's bad it's a unique flavor but i feel like it needs something else i, I feel like it it needs something to kind of help it pop a little bit more maybe a dip of some kind i don't know what kind of dip that would complement the lime in it it's lacking in something you know but the lime is interesting it's just it needs something else Finally, we get to the Flaming Hot Dill Pickle Remix. I, I really don't know why it's a remix. Uh, maybe because it's inspired by hip hop music. I like the Flaming Hot brand, but I I tend to steer away from it uh, in recent years because you know my my stomach, my gut, we don't agree. It's it's one of those love hate things. Oh wow. The flavoring's just like all on it. Yeah. Ooh, it smells like a pickle. I'm gonna get this big one. Look at that massive chip. And I will say right now, I have never been a fan of pickled flavor chips. I love pickles. Mm -hmm. 
but I've never been a fan of the pickle flavoring in chips. In recent years, <clears throat> as well as what I was saying about the Flaming Hot, I don't know why, but I have grown more accustomed to pickle flavoring. I, like, I love pickles. I've grown to love them more the older I get. I'm even... I, as far as chips go, I enjoy getting my hands on like the salt and vinegar chips. Don't know why. I don't know where this shift in my taste buds came from other than just age. So it's just some weird thing. I've never had that in the past, but it's I've grown to love it. So I think these will be good. I think they'll be interesting, but I could be wrong. We'll see. That's a spicy pickle. It's more the pickle up front. The heat <coughs> is just kind of... It's, it's just there. kind of there. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's definitely spicy. Mm -hmm. But you never once lose the pickle flavor. No. Like, it sticks with you the entire time. It's just kind of like they're doing a little, nice little dance on your taste buds. It's actually pretty freaking good. I'd say if you like the dill pickle chips that are on the market but you've always wanted something to kick them up a notch, this is that. You take those dill pickle chips and you just put spice into it. They, one's not working against the other. They mm -hmm. just work in unison. Just a spicy pickle. So if you like that, these are top notch. I really dig them. I'd right. really say this has made me like pickled flavored chips. How about that? Well, this particular pickled flavored chip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> If you want to go out, if you're a fan, maybe if you're not, and maybe you're just kind of like, I like pickles, but I don't really care for the chips. Give them a try. Maybe you'll be a converted uh, champion like she is. <laughs> but if you want to go out and try the rest of these, feel free. They should be on your store shelves right now. Get out there and see what you think and let us know what you think in comments down below. Remember, you can support the show at patreon.com slash pencil and paper productions. That's our show. Get out there and try some chips and remember, keep eating.